we see from uh, the conflict to, today in Ukraine that uh, counter battery radars are extremely important and also the ability to track other aerial targets like unmanned vehicles, uh, airplanes, helicopters and everything. And, and, and in this system we get uh, everything I think. We looked into all the different competitors uh, and this was down selected and chosen because it uh, was the, in total the best uh, system we could get for the money. We share a common border with Russia. Uh, we also seen that Russia is uh, very heavily uh, using artillery. So uh, this is very important to protect our uh, soldiers uh, to be able to do counter battery fire. But also we see that the threat from unmanned aerial vehicles uh, is uh, increasing a lot. So having that flexibility to use the system for uh, tracking those types of systems is very important as well. We believe that it's very important to have uh, the same type of systems, uh, mostly within NATO of course, but most of all with the different countries we cooperate with. And uh, we've had a long and good cooperation with the Dutch uh, and of course with the Nordic countries, the UK. Uh, so uh, I think we will have a, a benefit in the future when other nations also choose this type of system. Well, right now we are fielding this system as part of the army, but we see that it also has uh, the capability to be used by the Air Force. Uh, and we have the Air Force down here looking at it, so uh, we might be choosing this type of system also for the air defense. Uh, and that will, of course, benefit the Norwegian Army, uh, the Air Force uh, and NATO in the end. We've had a long and good cooperation with uh, the Dutch. Uh, uh, we've had its Army Cooperation Initiative that's been running for at least two decades. Uh, we trade uh, officers between the Norwegian Army and uh, the Dutch Army. Uh, so uh, it's been a long and good relationship and I think it will be even better in the future.